In this screencast, we'll continue our exploration of the programming language L developed in the second chapter of the uh, book uh, Computability, Complexity, and Languages by w Davis, Weyaker, and Segal. So let's consider this program, this uh, L program. And uh, to get a view, f uh, a few for uh, uh, what it uh, computes, um, let's play with some values. Let's say that uh, we take x1, the input argument, uh, to be some natural number. Obviously, it has two input arguments, x1 and x2. And then let's take x2 to be uh, 0 and see what um, uh, it computes. So y is assigned to x1, uh, x2 is assigned to um, uh, z1. So um, then the a1 labeled instruction uh, does not uh, execute. And we just go to e. And so um, y ends up with the value of k. Right, so let's take uh, x1 to be 2 and x2 to be, to be um, let's take it, a 1. Okay, and then uh, let's do um, uh, our usual uh, bin uh, counting where uh, the value of uh, each and every variable in the program is represented as a uh, bin of uh, ones. So we have a bin for x1, a bin for x2, a bin for uh, z1, and then the fourth variable that is mentioned in the program is uh, y. So we have a we have the y bin. So um, x1 is initially 2, and x2 is initially 1, then uh, z1 is assigned the value of x2, which is 1, and then y is assigned the value of x1 in the first operation. Okay, so what happens? Uh, so z1 is not equal to 0, then we go to b1 and subtract 1 from um, z1. So let's take um, this 1 out of z1 and add it to uh, y. Then we uh, go um, from, uh, back to a1 and uh, we terminate. So y ends up being the value of uh, 2 plus 1, 3. So um, what does this uh, function compute? It actually computes the addition of, uh, it adds two values, x1 and x2. Right, so it computes this function, f of x1, x2 is equal to x1 and uh, plus x2. Why? Um, okay, why? And it's, it's actually um, pretty easy to see because um, if uh, the instruction at uh, A1 is not true, we're just going to keep on looping and subtracting uh, 1 from Z1 and adding 1 to uh, Y. And so we are adding um, 1 Z1 times to Y. Right. Okay. So this can be a foundation of the macro v arrow or is assigned to the value of v1 plus v2 for some variables v v1 plus v2. Let's um, analyze another program written in L to get uh, more practice with the language and the formalism. So let's take a look at this program and let's play with some values. So um, let's um, set x1 to be 2 and x2 to be mm, 0. So z2 is 0, then we go to the end, and um, in that case, y is equal to 0. That's the default value of uh, y. Uh, let's take x1 to be 3, and um, x2 to be 2. Okay, and let's do our bins. Okay, so x1 is equal to 3 x2 is equal to uh, 2, uh, z1 
what's the value to z uh, what's the value of z1 z1 uh, initially doesn't get uh, any uh, any value um, okay so when z2 uh, is um, okay the value of x2 and y is 0 okay so then first um, we're gonna subtract we dispatch to b1 subtract uh, 1 from z2 and uh, um, the value of z1 is the value of x1 plus 1 uh, plus y so y is equal to 0 so uh, z1 becomes equal to 3 and y becomes equal to um, z1 so also 3 okay then uh, z2 again dispatch to uh, b1 okay z2 uh, 1 is taken from z2 and then um, z1 becomes x1 plus y so um, x1 is 3 y is 3 so um, z1 mm, becomes uh, 6 so we need to add 3 ones into the uh, bin of um, uh, z1 one two three so six okay at which point we go back to a1 and uh, z2 is zero so we go to the uh, end right um, and right after we assign the value of z1 to y which is six and y in this case is equal to six so it's three times two and you can now convince yourself that um, the this L program computes the multiplication of two uh, natural numbers x1 times x2 because it essentially increases the value of z1 which is initially bound to uh, x1 uh, uh, by y z2 times so it you know x1 plus x1 plus x1 plus x1 um, uh, x2 times so that's why it's computing the multiplication of two uh, numbers x1 times x2 okay um, so that's um, uh, obviously this is also a computable function uh, in the sense that it is total on uh, natural numbers as was the function of uh, addition so let's take a look at another uh, another program in L so what does this program compute um, let's play with um, a few initial values let's take x1 to be some natural number and uh, x2 to be um, well, let's take it zero okay so uh, we go to um, um, okay z1 is zero um, so then we go to end and y ends up being equal to k all right um, so not an interesting but um, a necessary case to consider let's take x2 to be 3 and x2 to be 2 um, so what is y the value of y in, in this case so let's do the bins um, so we have uh, x1 and we have um, x2 then we have um, z1 z1 and the fourth bin is uh, y um, okay well we'll do it later so um, x1 is 3 x2 um, is uh, 2 z1 is 
the value of x2 also 2 okay and then okay so let's draw the bin for y um, right this is y okay so z1 is not equal to um, uh, 0 y is not equal to um, um, zero because it gets the value of uh, x1 so it gets the value of three so z1 is not equal to zero y is not equal to uh, zero so uh, we uh, go to a1 y is not equal to zero then we go to b1 and we subtract one from y All right so let's erase one and we subtract uh, one from uh, z1 okay so uh, then we go uh, back to c1 z1 is not zero um, to a1 y is not zero so we subtract one from y and um, one from uh, z1 and at that point uh, z1 is zero so we just end go to e because the condition uh, at C1 uh, is not satisfied. So y is equal to 1, and that is equal to uh, x1 minus uh, x2. All right. And that, that is indeed what this uh, function uh, computes, um, because uh, it'll essentially assign the value of x1 to y, and then subtract uh, the value of x2 uh, from it by repeatedly subtracting it uh, z1 times until z1 um, uh, gets to be 0 so and it works fine so long as x1 is less than or equal to x2 but what happens if um, x1 is less than x2 then um, the value of um, well, what, what, what happens in this case? The value of uh, y uh, becomes 0 before the value of uh, z1. Right? So let's consider an example. x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 2. Then uh, let's draw the bin for z1, uh, which, is, uh, w which gets the value of uh, uh, x2. And let's draw the bin for y, which gets the value of x1 initially in line number one. Okay. So um, z1 is not equal to zero. Y is not equal to zero. So we uh, decrease the value of y by one and decrease the value of z1 by one. So z1 is not zero. We go to a1, right? But y is zero, and that's where we go into an infinite loop back to a1. And the program never terminates. So y is not defined. So this is um, an example of a partial function. So this program, this cell program, computes a partial function. Um, f of x1, x2, which is equal to x1 minus x2 if x1 is greater than or equal to x2 and it is undefined um, otherwise if x1 is less than x2. Uh, 